Let's see how easy it is to get a model trained using AWS SageMaker deployed to Modsy. So here what you're looking at is a sample notebook provided by AWS that shows you how to train a factorization machine's binary classifier using AWS SageMaker. Uh, this model will essentially just predict whether or not a handwritten digit is a zero. So we won't go too much into detail here, uh, but essentially we are pre-processing our data our images, we are uploading them in the required format to an S3 bucket. We are defining our hyperparameters as well as some additional information required by SageMaker and we are kicking off our training. Now, once this last line, this dot fit function completes, the output model artifacts will be stored as a tar GZ file in an S3 bucket. That's where our integration begins. So let's say that you've already trained your factorization machines binary classifier and the model output artifacts tar gz file is sitting in this bucket with this key. Now, the user is required to provide two additional files. One is our standard model.yaml file that we require for all of the models deployed to Modsy. This is very well documented in our docs page, but let's take a look at what this might look like. Here we're just defining some metadata that the platform will need, uh, the version and the name of the model. Uh, we can optionally provide uh, a lot of detailed information here that will be displayed on the model details page within Modsy which we'll see a bit later. Input, output, file format expectations, uh, some performance information, metrics, etc. Again, this is documented uh, in our docs page in detail. The other file that's required is a labels.json file. Um, so for classification models, we need to map the model output uh, indices, class indices, to our human readable labels, which we'd actually like uh, in our JSON output. We put those two in a resources tar gz file and upload that to the same bucket. Now we're ready to deploy the model to Modsy. So here you are required to provide a few different key value pairs. The first two correspond to AWS credentials with access to the S3 bucket where the model and resources tar gz files reside, as well as the ECR registry to which we're going to push our model image. We then point to our S3 bucket. We point towards the weights and resources keys uh, of those tar GZ files. And we provide the model type keyword that tells us which type of SageMaker built-in algorithm we're working with. And essentially at that point, it's just a get request, which as you can see has just completed. This 200 response means that the process was successful. And as you can see, we've got our new model ID and our model version. So again, this model is now deployed to our instance of Modsy, ready for production inference. So here's the model details page for our newly deployed model. As you can see, uh, here's some of the information that we had defined earlier in the model.yaml file. Uh, all that information gets rendered here in the model details page. All right, so we've got our model deployed. Let's run a test job and make sure things are working as expected. So we're gonna use our Modsy Python SDK We'll initialize our client here, pointing to our instance of Modsy and providing our API key. And here, as you can see, we are taking the model ID and version directly from the response of the integration service up here. And we're going to pass a sample image that is sitting on our local machine. And we're going to go ahead and submit the job. So we'll give it a second here for Modsy to spin up the model and process the job and finally return the result to the client. And as you can see here, we've received the inference result uh, from the platform. It looks like our handwritten digit that we submitted was not a zero. So to recap, we were able to take a model trained using AWS SageMaker, submit two additional files, the model.yaml file and the labels.json file, mapping the output class indices to human readable labels. We were able to quickly then deploy the model to Modsy and run a test job successfully. Thanks for your time.